हेलो दोस्तों आज हम लेकर आए हैं साउथ एशियन यूनिवर्सिटी के एमएससी बायोटेक 2021 के कुछ क्वेश्चंस एज यू नो साउथ एशियन यूनिवर्सिटी नेवर रिलीज इज देयर क्वेश्चन पेपर सो वी हैव टू रिलाई ओवर द मेमोरीज ऑफ द अपीयरिंग कैंडिडेट्स इस वीडियो में भी वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग दोस क्वेश्चन व्हिच वर मेंशनड बाय द स्टूडेंट्स रिमेंबर द लैंग्वेज ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस मे डिफर फ्रॉम द एग्जैक्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच वाज आस्क्ड इन द एग्जाम्स but we tried our best to recapture the essence of the original questions shuru karte hain cystic fibrosis is an autosomal recessive x linked recessive autosomal dominant or x linked dominant disease cystic fibrosis is an autosomal recessive disorder in which the person suffering from cystic fibrosis receives defective genes each from their parents द पर्सन हु इज हैविंग दिस जेनेटिक डिफेक्ट उसके जो लंग्स हैं वो क्लॉक हो जाते हैं म्यूकस के थ्रू सो द ऑप्शन हियर वुड बी ए दैट सिक्स फाइब्रोसिस इज एन ऑटोसोमल रिसेसिव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड्स आर बोथ ग्लूकोजेनिक एंड कीटोजेनिक इन नेचर इज इट एलन एंड लाइसिन लाइसिन एंड ल्यूसिन आइसोल्यूसिन एंड फिनाइल एलानिन और एस्पार्टेट एंड लाइसिन The amino acid which are belonging to glucogenic or ketogenic category, they are also called as mixogenic amino acids. They can give rise to both glucose and ketone bodies. And generally, the isoleucine, tryptophan, tyrosine, and phenylalanine they belongs to this category. Lysine and leucine are pure ketogenic amino acid, while rest amino acids are pure glucogenic in nature. So here, the answer C would be the correct answer that isoleucine and phenylalanine. will be the mixogenic or both glucogenic and ketogenic in nature dash ratio leads to the shoot development high auxin to cytokinin high cytokinin to zebralin low auxin to cytokinin or high auxin to zebralin development of a shoot and root is determined by the auxin to cytokinin ratio in plants agar हाई ऑक्सीजन टू साइटोकाइन इन रेशियो है तो रूट बनेगा एंड इफ इट इज अ लो ऑक्सीजन एंड साइटोकाइन इन रेशियो देन इट विल लेड टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ शूट सो हियर द ऑप्शन सी शुड बी द करेक्ट दैट लो ऑक्सीजन टू साइटोकाइन इन रेशियो विल लेड टू द शूट डेवलपमेंट वाइल हाई ऑक्सीजन टू साइटोकाइन इन रेशियो विल लेड टू द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रूट फॉर अल्ट्रा हाई टेम्परेचर और यूएसटी ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ मिल्क टू इंक्रीज द सेल्फ लाइफ अप टू सिक्स मंथ milk is heated to 200 degree celsius 140 degree celsius 100 degree celsius or 80 degree celsius ultra heat treatment of the milk is different from the normal pasteurization method in the normal pasteurization method the milk is heated up to around 80 degree celsius while in ust the milk is heated for 140 degree celsius for a brief period let's say 3 seconds or 5 seconds and ultimately this treatment eventually destroy bacteria and other microorganism and now this milk is safe to consume even up to months so here the option c is the correct answer aims test is based on reversion of mutation in the histidine operon in the genetically altered strain of salmonella typhimurium reversion of mutation in the lac operon reversion of the mutation in the tryptophan operon or reversion of the mutation in the arabinose operon dekhiye aims test hota kya hai aims test is based on the reverse mutation or back mutation of the mutant salmonella typhimurium ye jo salmonella typhimurium hai it lacks the capacity to synthesize histidine that means there is a some problem with the his operon now अगर ये सालमोनेला टाइफीमीरियम कम्स इन कांटेक्ट विद द म्यूटेजन तो म्यूटेजन मे कॉज द रिवर्स म्यूटेशन एंड देन द हिस्टेड इन सिंथिसाइजिंग कैपेसिटी दैट मीन हिस ऑप्रॉन विल बी रीस्टोर्ड सो हियर द ऑप्शन ए शुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर दैट द एम्स टेस्ट इज बेस्ड ऑन द रिवर्जन ऑफ म्यूटेशन इन द हिस ऑप्रॉन ऑफ द जेनेटिकली ऑल्टर्ड स्ट्रेन ऑफ सालमोनेला टाइफीमीरियम A dishonest milkman professes to sell his milk at cost price. 
but he mixes it with water and thereby gains 25%. The percentage of water in the mixture is, is it 4%, is it 16%, is it 20% or is it 25%? Okay, as per the question, when a person add water to the milk, then only he gets the 25% gain. So if we assume that the initial milk was 100 liter of the milk and the milk gain is 25% upon water mixing, then the water content should be the 25 divided by kitna water ban gaya after mixing 100 plus 25. So 25 divided by 125 into 100, that means 20%. So the water content in the mixture should be 20%. That is option C. The PI or isoelectric point of a protein is 5.2. When electric field is applied at pH 8.5, the protein will move towards anode, move towards cathode, does not move or moves in random fashion. Okay. PI is given is 5.2. That means at 5.2 pH, it will develop the equal amount of positive and negative charge. That means at pH 5.2, it will not move. Now, if you put this protein at a high pH, then it will develop a net negative amount or negative charge. And hence, it will move towards the positive electrode that is anode. So here, the option A would be the correct answer. Transition type of gene mutation is caused when GC is replaced by TA, CG is replaced by GC, AT is replaced by CG or AT is replaced by GC. See, whenever a ring is exchanged with a similar ring, then such mutations are called as transition. But if a ring is replaced with a different ring system, then such transitions are or such mutations are called as transversion. So now, we have been given the transition type of gene mutation. That means the ring will replace the similar ring structure. Now adenine, which is a purine, which is a two-membered ring structure, it must be replaced with a two-membered ring guanine. While thymine, which is a pyrimidine, which is a single ring structure, should be replaced with another single ring structure, that is cysteine. So here, the transition type of gene mutation means the AT should be replaced by the GC option. D. The bacterial enzyme responsible for the conversion of relaxed circular DNA into negatively supercoiled DNA would be is it DNA gyrase, DNA topo 1, DNA topo 2, or DNA ligase? Supercoiling in DNA are generally removed by the topo isomerases, not ligases. So, option D cannot be the correct answer. Now, since bacteria is mentioned, so, now DNA gyrase can also be an answer. DNA gyrase is a kind of a topo 2. So, out of B, A, B and C should be our correct answer. Now, if we see it in a diagram, then we will find out that DNA gyrase is an option which converts a relaxed DNA into the negatively supercoiled DNA. So, here the DNA gyrase is a bacterial enzyme which is responsible for the conversion of Relax circular DNA. Relax when we say when there is a no supercoiling into the negative supercoiling. Why an enzyme is doing negative supercoiling? Because negative supercoiling helps in opening of the DNA during heterochromatization. So here the option A is the correct answer. The SARS-CoV-2 genome coronavirus consists of SSRNA, double-stranded RNA single stranded DNA or double stranded DNA. As we know that COVID-19 virus or more commonly called as coronavirus has single stranded RNA as their genetic content and it uses the similar retroviral strategy to survive and propagate. So SARS-CoV-2 genome is a single stranded RNA virus genome. Which of the following is a classical example of point mutations? Is it phenylketonuria, sickle cell anemia, hemophilia or thalassemia? Sickle cell anemia is a classical example of point mutation. Point mutations kya hote hain? Point mutation means a change in single nucleotide which is causing the altered protein expression. For example, in sickle cell anemia, when 
t in the coding strand is replaced by a then there is a corresponding change in the amino acid the glutamic acid is replaced by a valine remember glutamic acid is a negatively charged amino acid while valine is a hydrophobic amino acid so a change in the chemistry of an amino acid cause the change in the shape of the rbcs hence the option b is the correct answer that sickle cell anemia has an altered protein expression due to the point mutation the most of the ultraviolet absorption of proteins around 280 nanometer is due to their content of tryptophan aspartate glutamate or alanine uv absorption of proteins in the range of 230 to 300 nanometer is mostly dominated by the aromatic side chain of tryptophan tyrosine and phenylalanine tryptophan and tyrosine they both strongly absorb at 280 nanometer while phenylalanine does at 255 nanometer out of the given options tryptophan should be the correct answer as it is strongly absorbed at 280 nanometer the approximate molecular weight in kda of the product after the translation of a 390 basis mrna will be is it 48 kd is it 26 kd is it 39 kd or is it 14 kd see what is the length of a mrna 390 base pair now if we divide by 3 that means genetic triplet so then how many amino acid would be there around 130 now the amino acids are 130 each amino acid has an average base of around 110 delta so if we multiply that will be coming around 14000 approximately delta that means the molecular weight would be 14 kda that means option d so here the option d would be the correct answer in a cross of AABB CC into AABB CC, what is the probability of producing the homozygous dominant AABB CC? Is it 1 by 16, 1 by 32, 1 by 4, or 1 by 16? If you have any questions, then what you should do is you multiply in individual manner. That means if we take the parental heterozygous condition AA and the get the gametes and cross them then we will get 1 by 4th capital a capital a 2 by 4 a a that means heterozygous condition and 1 fourth would be the homozygous recessive condition and this will be same with gene b and gene c now if we probably take the probability of a a that means capital a a capital b b capital c c so capital a ki probability kitni thi 1 by 4 capital b b ki probability kitni thi 1 by 4 capital c c ki probability kitni thi 1 by 4 that means the probability combined probability would be 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 by 1 by 4 that means around 1 by 64 that means option d so here the option d should be the correct answer Sum of three numbers is 160 and these numbers are in ratio of 1 raised to the 3 raised to the 4. Find the product of these numbers. Is it 96,000, 90,000, 80,000 or 88,000? To solve this, let's assume the first number is x. So now as per they are in the ratio, so the number would be x, 3x and 4x and the sum of them is equal to 160. So if we sum them then 8x would be 160 and x would be 20 so now the number would be 20 60 and 80 and their multiplication would yield you 96000 that means option a so option a is the correct answer hemidesmosomes are is it cell matrix junction supported by intermediate filaments is it cell to cell junctions supported by actin filaments is it cell to cell junctions supported by intermediate filaments or is it cell to matrix junction supported by actin filaments see the hemidesmosomes 
are very similar to desmosomes but desmosomes they connect cell to cell junctions while hemidesmosomes they connect the cell to the basal membrane or extracellular matrix both desmosomes and hemidesmosomes they use intermediate filament as their supporting architecture so hemidesmosomes are cell to matrix junction supported by the intermediate filaments option a is the correct answer which of the following statements is incorrect regarding indel mutation is similar to point mutation caused by non frame shifting insertion or deletions small genetic variation measuring from 1 to 10000 base pair in length or not a multiple of nucleotide indel mutations they refer to the small genetic variation of 1 to 10000 base pair long insertion or deletion in genome which changes the reading frame indel are in contrast of point mutation remember during indel something is either inserted or something is being lost while during point mutation the nucleotide is being exchanged replaced or substituted but never inserted or deleted so the indel mutation is in contrast of point mutation that is option a the absorption of glucose in the digestive tract that's very easy the absorption of the glucose in the digestive tract occurs at the enterocyte that means the cells of the small intestine so here the option a is the correct answer for a spontaneous reaction delta g delta h and delta s what should be their sign remember for a spontaneous reaction the delta h should be negative that means the reaction should be exothermic that means some heat should be lost delta s that means total delta s should be higher than the zero it should be always increasing that is the second law of thermodynamics while delta g should be negative that means the product must have low free energy than the reactant so for a spontaneous process the delta g should be negative delta h should be negative and delta s must be positive that is option c the part of the bacterial plasmid incorporated in the plant genome includes virulence region, double stranded tDNA and virulence region, entire plasmid, or only single stranded tDNA. Remember, whenever the agrobacterium transfers its DNA, then only the single stranded tDNA goes out into the plant. And now, this single stranded tDNA is being integrated into the plant genome how it occurs initially that one of the endonucleases which is being expressed due to the virgin it cut out the single stranded tdna part from the tdna genome and now the single stranded tdna is stabilized some of the product of virgin which helps in the migration from the bacteria to the plant cell and there their integration is being proceeded so virgin or virulence genes are actually helps in the virulence but they never goes from bacteria to the plant cells rather it is the tdna which only and that to be single stranded tdna which goes and gets integrated into the host cell so here the option d is the correct answer chaliye ab is video ko yahi samapt karte hain aap agar subscribe karenge to hamara bhi motivation bana rahega isi tarike se humse judne rehne ke liye dhanyawad thank you very much